What's up guys and welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a headlight comparison for the 2005 Audi A4 that I have here. And it uses HID bulbs, but today we're gonna to be replacing them with LED bulbs. Uh, now the reason why I'm replacing them because they are worn out. One of them is really dim and the other one is I think on its way out as well. So I figured let's try um, some LED headlights, try something a little bit different. Now I've watched some videos on LED versus HID and a lot of comparison tests will show that HIDs are still actually superior to LED headlights, but I wanted to try something a little bit different just to experience it for myself. Um, and there are different headlights that are really crappy, like the LED headlights, there's some that are not the best and there are some that are a little bit better. And based on a little bit of the research that I did, I was able to kind of narrow down on one headlight that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I also just want to preface this video by saying that this is not supposed to be scientific. This is kind of just like a, a real world test to show you my experience and kind of replacing old worn out HID bulbs with uh, a set of brand new LED headlights uh, in 2023. LED headlight technology has really advanced quite a bit in the last few years. So hopefully we'll get some good um, results with this headlight. So I'll show you what we're working with here. So we've got these car rover headlights that I ordered from, you guessed it, Amazon. Uh, and these were uh, $95 for this set. And I tried to find like the brightest bulbs that I could find on there. And so the 2005 A4 uses the D1S bulb. This particular set is rated at 18,000 lumens. So this was like the brightest one that I could find on Amazon. So before we get into that, Let's get into the car and see what the current headlights look like to kind of give you a comparison test of what the HIDs are putting out right now. And then we will come back here and unbox this one and put these headlights in and see what we get. I will also leave some links in the description for this set of headlights in particular, and also some other cool videos that I came across that did uh, some more scientific comparisons of HID versus LED and also versus halogen bulbs, and also reflector housings and projector housings to kind of give you a comparison of all of those different types of headlight options. All right, so we are in the car, which is running fantastic, by the way. Um, and we have, so I'm parked about 20 to 25 feet away from uh, a garage door here. So I'm going to turn on the headlights and keep in mind these are HIDs. So they have a little bit of a warm up time, uh, which is like one to two seconds. So it's not long, but it's long enough that you can notice it. Uh, and then I will show you the high beams after that. And so the LEDs should be able to be instant on, which will be kind of different. So here's the low beam HIDs. As you can see, they take a second to warm up. And it's hard to tell from here, but the right headlight bulb is actually very dim. So most of that light's actually coming from the left bulb. And you can see there's a very clear cutoff beam on the top there. Here's the high beams, so I'll zoom back out. And so the high beams are a combination of halogen bulbs on the inside of the headlight housing. And then there's also bi-xenon flappers. So this style of headlight is called a bi-xenon, which has a flapper, which actually opens and lets the rest of the light out from the HID bulb. So that the LEDs will replace the HID bulb and then the flappers should also allow the high beams to work with the LEDs. This is my benchmark shot. So you can see the left headlight very bright. The one on the right side is super dim. It's, it might be kind of hard to tell. I'll try to highlight it in the video. The part I've been waiting for, let's open these. Put it on. You got an instruction manual, installation manual, and the bulbs themselves. So it looks super nice. Two LED chips on either side, so let's grab one of these out. So as you can see, super compact little unit, and I have the original HID right here for comparison. I've got the two bulbs side by side here, and so the one on the left is the original HID bulb that came in the vehicle, and then the one on the right is the LED upgrade. So as you can see, the light emitting 
part are very close to in line with each other and that's super important and then also the form factor in general is pretty much almost the same the only thing that i can see different is that that plug on the led bulb is a little bit higher up than on the hid bulb so hopefully that won't be an issue it's got a really thin chip in the middle and you've got one led chip on either side so that's actually what you want to see based on the video that i watched last which i'll link in the description Let's toss these in and see how they look. As I was worried about, that plug is a little bit high, but I mean, we're talking like millimeters. I did have to kind of press that bulb down into there a little bit to get the clip to clip on. But as you can see, I did get it in there. So hopefully it lines up correctly and gives us the right light output. LED versus HID first test. So we've got an HID bulb on the left and a LED on the right. Oh, wow way brighter on the right side holy crap that's insane yeah big fan so far and very sharp cutoff beam as you can see right there so i'm going to swap out the left side now all right second test with both led bulbs installed oh so much brighter wow there's little fans on the back of the bulbs that you can hear spinning but uh that doesn't bother me. All right, so we're facing that same garage door again. Let's turn the lights on and see how they look. Wow. Uh, I've noticed they are aimed a little bit to the left. So I'm gonna have to try and adjust those a little bit, but you can see there's two very clear hot spots in the middle, very clear cutoff beam. Um, I'd say the light should kind of be more focused towards maybe like this side, the right side. Because if you're driving on the right side of the road, you want to light up kind of the right side and then keep light off oncoming drivers. So I'll probably have to sort of adjust that a little bit, but definitely a huge improvement over the old dying HIDs. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. And again, another view from outside. And how the actual car looks with those. happy with that not gonna lie these are way brighter the uh, headlights are not aimed correctly but other than that like I can't complain it's been a couple days now I've been driving with the headlights on um, at night and it's been awesome like it's been so much better than the old lights I did I think get them mostly centered I feel like it's still slightly to the left or maybe that the right side is a little bit dim maybe for some reason but all in all uh, no complaints uh, definitely enjoying it and i do recommend them based on what i've experienced so far i mean it's only been a few days but we'll see how they last so as i was getting off the highway i remembered that before when i had the hid bulbs in these headlight housings the right side was a lot dimmer than the left side and I'm noticing the same thing with the LEDs. I think it looks clear-ish on the camera that the left side's quite a bit brighter than the right side. So that led me to believe maybe the headlight housing somehow is affecting the light output. Now, a while ago, I changed the headlight out with this one. This is the one that originally came with the car, and I don't remember the light output being drastically different between these two housings. But then when I put this one in, I think the right side got dimmer, but I'm guessing that it's because that projector is actually pitted. I'm not sure how that even happened, but I mean, obviously the lens is really pitted as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the old headlight housing back in with the new LED bulb and see what kind of light output we get. Because again, it's quite a bit brighter on the left side or the driver's side than the passenger side. So let's see what happens if we put the old headlight back in. It also just occurred to me that the actual ballast could be fried on that headlight housing. 
Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Now they match, at least as far as I can tell. Not sure how it looks on the camera, but they look so much more even now. So what I'm thinking is that perhaps the actual ballast on the other headlight bulb is what was dying. Because I mean, if it was doing that with the HID bulb, then it's the only thing that seems to make sense to me. But all in all, I'm super happy with these LED bulbs. They're way better than the HIDs. I feel like HIDs have a little bit more range. Like you can kind of see further down the road or really far walls or, you know, other vehicles in the distance, I feel like show up better with HIDs. But these LEDs have a lot of intensity to them and a really crisp white light, which I really like. And it really modernizes the feel of the car and the look of the car. So all in all, pretty impressed with these. I would definitely recommend them, especially considering the price versus the HIDs. Some HIDs you can get fairly cheap, but I would say try out LEDs if you're curious. Pretty stoked about them. Uh, hopefully they last a while. I guess if they don't, I'll update on that. And uh, yeah. So I just went out for a drive around the block and confirmed that the headlights are pretty much aimed left to right where I want them. I also found out that both headlights were fully adjusted almost all the way up in the vertical adjustment. So the left side was easy to adjust. There's just a little, there's a hole here and you can put a, a Phillips screwdriver or a six mil Allen key in there to adjust that. But this side was actually broken. Like the actual plastic gear was kind of stuck. So if you look at this headlight, you can see that there's a gear there and there's supposed to be this piece here. So this goes onto there like that. And then you rotate this Allen plastic Allen thing to turn the other gear. Now these are plastic gears, so one of these is actually missing a couple teeth. So when I went to rotate it, uh, it just spun without engaging that middle gear there. So I just pulled the this piece off of this headlight. I put um, lithium grease, and then I just reinstalled it on this headlight. And now we're able to, if you can tell, but if I rotate the key, the beam goes up and down. So that's up and now we're going to go all the way back down. So I'm going to set them to their lowest settings and then I'll go for another drive and readjust if needed, but I kind of wanted them as low as I can get them. So both are now at the max low. And it's hard to tell the difference now, but they're quite a bit lower than they were before. So that should be ideal I think. Super happy with that. Alright guys, you know I have to do another comparison video after changing out that headlight. So here it is. I adjusted them as best as I think they're going to get at this point. And as you can see there's far more light output on, spread out on the road. And it's really pretty damn good now. So I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And uh, yeah, definitely thumbs up for the LEDs. And um, I would definitely recommend them. But again, we'll see how long they last. Low beam HIDs. As you can see, they take a second to warm up. So much better. See it fam, check it out. This is the first Dually Wheels Canada sticker to exist. So let's peel it off and see how it looks. Oh, I love that black on black look. You can barely see it. Oh shit. You can barely even see it. That's kind of what I wanted. It's like hidden. But this is the first Dually Wheels Canada sticker to exist on a non-Dually vehicle. But if you have a Dually truck, go to DuallyWheels.ca. You've seen it here first. If you need Dually Wheels and tires in Canada, that's your place.